What's up? It's Coach J Pro, and we're back with another round of reflex Bang. bag Bang. workouts. Okay, let's go. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't we're doing a little brain training today with a four round advanced combo boxing workout for all levels. You don't need your gloves on yet, just have them nearby. We're gonna jump into a warm up in a couple seconds. Right, take a second, shake it out. We're gonna get the party started with arm circles going backwards nice and wide. Do you like my tropical themed outfit today? It's something like 13 degrees today in New York City, so I figured I would brighten it up to remind myself of warmer times. Switch direction here. Okay, let's go into an arm across the chest. So right arm across the chest and use your left arm to pull that arm so you feel a nice stretch in your shoulder. We know the keys to success with reflex bag training. Start with a nice loose and relaxed upper body. Switch arms here. Shake it out, we're gonna go into a little torso twist. Pivoting on the balls of our feet, squashing that bug like we were throwing a hook. 15 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go into 30 seconds of squats. Feet are about shoulder width apart, and then you're sitting straight back on your heels as if you were just taking a seat on an invisible chair. So you don't want your knees to go out in front of your toes. You're just sitting straight back. 10 seconds. All right, last minute. You might think we're shadow boxing. We're not. We're gonna get into a little freestyle jump rope. Start to get that heart rate up a little bit. If you are new to boxing training or new to reflex bag training, this is gonna be a tough one today. If you need to go back, just X out of this workout. Find the series beginner to pro and start from the beginning. I'll teach you everything you need to know. The stance, the key punches, the basics of how to control your bag. And then when you're ready, come back to this one when you're ready to put it together for an advanced combo. Ten seconds. And time. All right, we're ready to go. Throw those gloves on. We jump in around one and one minute. All right, so don't quote me on this, but I think this is the longest combo that we've ever built up to on this channel. Today, we're working our way up to a 15 move boxing combination. This is tough at any level on a moving target like a reflex bag, but don't stress it. We're not jumping right into the 15 move combo. We're actually gonna build it up over the course of the four rounds. If you're new, a couple tips. If you're still developing, controlling your bag is more important than throwing powerful shots. Learning how to control your bag, the power and the speed and all the fancy stuff, it's gonna come down the road. So when in doubt, punch slower and lighter so you can control your bag and then build that power up over time. Today, you just wanna focus on getting these different sequences down. We're gonna break it down into three different parts. So for round one, we're gonna get started with part one. We're just gonna work a one-two for 30 seconds at a combination pace on our bag. Just a jab cross. Ish, ish. 
Nice and long. Bah. Turning over those punches. Ice, ice. Bah. 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 Ice, ice. Bang. Bang. Okay, now we're gonna switch to a five-two. Lead uppercut cross. And if you're not a beginner, then as we start to get into the more advanced parts of the combo, try to change up your pace and your tempo, where you put the power. Those are the things you can really start to get into. We're gonna go back to that one, two now. Just the jab cross. You're always gonna be challenged training with a reflex bag. It's like, of course, I use a heavy bag too in my training, but anyone can get really good at hitting a heavy bag. Developing skill here, it's a whole different ball game. Okay, one more time, back to the five, two. Back to our lead uppercut, cross. You wanna focus on where you're connecting, so we're hitting that bag in a straight line. If I'm hitting my five and it's spinning out of control, then I wanna adjust so I come right down the center, almost like an upside down jab. Nice and loose and relaxed. Okay, so now we're gonna put those two together and this is gonna be part one of our combo. Just a one, two, five, two. See, nice and easy to start. Keep that head off the center line. We know that bag is trying to hit you back. Thirty seconds here. Let's go. Find that rhythm. Find that sweet place. Tell your therapist that you're no longer needed because you have a reflex back. I'm just kidding. Don't tell him I said that. And time. That's it for part one. Grab a quick sip of water. Then we go into round two and part two. All right, how are we feeling so far? Simple, right? Part one, we just want to get that ingrained in our brain. It's a one, two, five, two. Nice and simple because you know that we're going to start to add on. It's going to start to get a little tricky. So going into round two, the first minute, we're just going to drill part one. We're just going to work that one, two, five, two. If you're a beginner, focus on keeping it nice and light, being able to control your bag and taking your time in between each combo. If you're one of my advanced folks who's been with me for over a year, mix up the speed and the power. You notice I do it all the time. Sometimes I'll slow it down, change where that power shot is. Imagine you were boxing with an opponent here. He's trying to hit you back. You're tagging them in different ways, setting things up. So for one minute, bang. Bah. Just the one, two, five, two. Bah. Bah. Ish. Ish, ish. 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 Bah. Bah, bah. Twenty seconds here. One more. All right, thirty seconds. A little active recovery. We're just going to go to a slip lead, 
roll rear. Slip lead, roll rear. Think about it like straight line, and then a U back to your starting position. Use your bag as the center line. So I slip to my left and then roll rear. If you're in the traditional stance like me. If you're a southpaw, do the other way. Slip, roll. Okay, now we're gonna go to a new combo. Two, five, two. Cross, lead, uppercut, cross. All punches that we're familiar with so far. Make sure our stance is nice and wide so we don't get thrown off balance. Okay, now we're gonna put those two movements together. That's gonna be part two of our combo. Slip lead, roll rear, two, five, two. Slip, roll, two, five, two. Take your time. Try to time it up with your bag so you're slipping right out of the way. One more. Hiss, hiss, what? And time. Okay, going into the second half, we have our two parts. Let's break them down. Part one is our one, two, five, two. Part two is our slip lead, roll rear, two, five, two. If you're struggling so far, congrats. It's a sign that you're human. This is incredibly tough stuff on a moving target. It's hard enough landing punches. Once you start to work head movement and footwork, which is coming up, it gets really tricky. So just take your time with these sequences and have fun and take the pressure off. Sometimes we're overly focused and that causes us to stiffen up, not enjoy it. Loose and relaxed. Move the way that your bag does. Flowing. So, for the first minute of the round, we're gonna put part one and part two together for one minute. We're gonna work that one, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two. One time slowly. One, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two. A little trick is once you throw that first, that, sorry, that fourth cross, let it carry you right into your slip. So when I throw that one, two, five, two, I throw a looping cross and it kind of takes me right into that slip lead. One, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two. Now you're on your own. Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna start breaking down the third and final part. For 30 seconds, we're gonna start up close. We're gonna work a step back, step in, one, two. That's it. Step back, step in, one, two. We're playing with distance a little bit here. Back, in, one, two. Try to time it up with your bag, as always. All right, now we're just gonna work a two, three. Cross to a lead hook. We know that the hooks are really tricky, so you wanna take, get some practice here. If you ever wanna center your bag in between, do it with your lead hand. Two, three, 15 seconds. All right, last minute, we're gonna to put together those two parts and that's gonna be part three of our combo. 
We have a step back, step in, one, two, two, three. Hish, 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 hish. If you want, in between, you can center it. If you want a challenge, don't center it. Try to just go with the bag's natural movement. This. 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 What? This. 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 What? Fifteen seconds here. One more together. Step back, step in. One, two, two, three. And time. This is it, the fourth and final round. This is where it all comes together. Now a couple thoughts, okay? Number one, if you're not able to complete this combo on the first go around, don't stress it. I don't think you wanna put so much pressure on yourself when you're training. You actually wanna take the pressure off and enjoy the process. So run it back. This is a 20 minute workout. Be like my guy, Steven, who talks about doubling up on, on these workouts, just run it back. And the more time you spend on each sequence, it'll all come together. And if anyone is bold enough to film highlights of themselves doing the combo, tag me on Instagram at jprojabs. I'll post you on my page, show you off to the entire Fierce Flex universe and beyond. Okay, but first we gotta get through it. So. For one minute, we're gonna work part one and part two. One, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two. 30 seconds, we're gonna work part three, and then we're gonna put it all together for a minute 30. So first minute, one, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two. Easy. Wah, wah, wah. 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 Ish, 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 ish. Let's go. Let that bag talk to you. Feel it out. Get to know that bag. This, this. Let's go. Put some hot sauce on the end if you want. Only if you like it spicy. Which I do. I like it spicy. What? 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 Okay, 30 seconds. We're just gonna go to part three. Step back. Step in. One, two, two, three. This. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. Bop, bop, I got bop, the message on me, no flexing on me, my Ten seconds here. Step back, step in, one, two, two, three. Put all the eagles in check. I had to put all the eagles in check. Alright, this is it. We're putting it all together. I get ten years of One, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two, step back, step in, one, two. Two, three. Yikes, one time together now. One, two, five, two, slip, roll, two, five, two, step back, step in, one, two, two, three. Jeez, now it's on you. Thirty seconds. Let's go. One more time together. Let's go now. Is, is, is. I 
Yes. No more empty glasses. When the world is handful. That's why you can't put your finger on it. We got the touch. Never perfect. Live it with purpose. That be us. That's it. 50 move combo. Longest to date. Make sure you throw your boy a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again real soon. Ah! <sighs>